What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben gaming video and today we have some fantastic console news for both PlayStation side and the Xbox side as well and it is about future games being at 60 FPS. We know there's been a lot of talk recently about the 30 FPS being the norm in the next gen because obviously there's some games like A Plague's Tale Requiem and games like Arkham, Arkham Knights or whatever it's called. Yeah, Arkham Knights I think it is uh, running at 30 FPS when really we've only just started getting those next gen games and uh, they really should be running at 60. And this kind of proves this as well. I personally believe, uh, I did believe before, and I want to admit, actually, I hold my hands up and think that I was, I genuinely got a, I made a mistake. I thought that the games like Plague's Tale would not physically be able to run at 60, but I think I was incorrect. I think they can run at 60. If you think about it, they're already at 40 with VRR. I do genuinely think you could get these to 60. I don't think they're the best optimized in the world. And this kind of next stuff, proves it and when you think about it when you've got things like the matrix awakening demo that wasn't very well optimized it just was a demo uh for the next gen systems they were running at 30 with features like ray tracing on as well hardware ray tracing on even the series s um so we have some news today about unreal engine 5.1 features they are scalable the lumen is scalable to achieve 60 fps on consoles and this is something that unreal engine and epic or whatever you want to call them has set in place. So we're going to have a little read through this. I've got some amazing footage of various different engines. Um, and I want to talk briefly about uh, the Unity engine as well, because they've done a little demo recently on the Series X, showing some really awesome detailed features um, of that engine too. So Epic Games has published its roadmap for Unreal Engine 5.1. And among the list of new features is a more scalable version of Lumen with the aim that current gen consoles, meaning PS5, Series X, Series S will be able to target 60 FPS in games that take advantage of the tech. According to the Unreal Engine 5.1 roadmap, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S will have an easier time targeting 60 FPS in games running on the engine that take advantage of Lumen. In addition, the roadmap outlines a potential fix for PSO related stutters in Unreal Engine games on PS5, or sorry, on PC, which is a huge thing because the amount of stutters you get on things like Unreal Engine 4 right now now is just not ideal. So according to the roadmap shared by Epic Games, the following improvements are made to Unreal Engine 5's lighting tech. Improved performance optimization in high scalability modes with the goal of achieving 60 FPS on console. Improved support for foliage, reflections on single layer water. Support for high quality mirror reflections on translucent surfaces. Support for end display SWRT and HWRT. Initial support for split screen SWRT only. Performance characteristics still Still uh, to be decided. Experimental hardware ray tracing (HWRT) in Vulcan. Surface cache lighting only. No support yet for hit lighting. Many stability and quality and bug fixes. But obviously, the key part here is the scalability that they are talking about for the next gen systems. This is something that's very important. We know we've, as I've said earlier, we've had some games that just haven't been hitting that that. Um, that 60 frames target that we, we all really want. Um, so they're actually doing things like the, the ray tracing capabilities. They're actually lowering the res of them to like even 1 16th in some cases and then upscaling from there. Uh, a lot of the demos that they've showed and talked about um, was a case of actually the, running at 1080p at, at the hardware level and then being upscaled all the way to 4K from that point, which is great. That's fine. Like in the end of the day, the 4K res is just what is best for our TVs, but it doesn't mean it needs to natively run that. That's not something that everyone is asking for. We just do want to get that gorgeous, crispy 4K image somehow. That is that is what is important here. So that's fantastic. Uh, I'm very pleased. I recently said that how I switched back from PC because I missed a lot of the basic things, just booting my console up and it being, you know, on my TV, not having to uh, fuss around with problems not having the stuttering issues which they seem like they're actually working on which is huge news as well um, but I switched to, back to console and seeing some of the 30 FPS games like Plague's Tale Requiem and Batman uh, or Arkham, Arkham Knights be a little disappointing there I'm very glad that they've made it clear to um, target 60 FPS with Unreal Engine 5.1 something I do want to say though is this this does not mean that every game is going to be 60 FPS this absolutely does not mean that but um 
we can expect some people to target that. Obviously, from a developer's point of view, what do you want in the trailers? Do you want your game to look absolutely gorgeous and run at 30 FPS? Because trailers and cutscenes mostly do run at 30 FPS. Or do you want to see a worse scaled one at 60? You know, a lot of people just go, oh, look at look how good that game looks. Oh my God. Like, uh, you know, it, it's all about the visuals when they care about showing off the game. And a lot of people, a lot of developers tend to prioritize 30 FPS on consoles. But Unreal Engine is very clear about it. They're giving people scalability of these features, not having to use full resolution or not having to use the ultra settings. In fact, they say that they target the, uh, the high settings for the 60 FPS mode mode and the ultra settings for the uh, na like native 4k ray tracing 30 fps mode so that's where they're at with that you're still going to get all the features the next gen stuff like the ray tracing but it's just going to be scaled back a little bit and there's also some news as I was saying about the Unity engine here as well. So, uh, well, not some news, but there is some, uh, they did a little recent show off of it with this absolutely amazing face animation that you guys are going to see on screen. And this is something that's interesting because Unity has often been used for some smaller games, like games like Subnautica, Cuphead, uh, even Pokemon Go or Hollow Knight and stuff like that. They're kind of more of an indie uh, indie developer. Um, they don't necessarily do things as big as Unreal Engine, but as you can see how easy it is them, for them to create stuff like what you're seeing on screen right now with this face animation. And it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. And, and by the way, there's actually a section where it is running on the Series X and they can like change this woman's expressions from happy to sad or whatever, or to angry. And, and, and you can see it all running real time on the Series X. Now, obviously it's not a full game, this. Uh, you've got to see that it is one room with one character in with a chess set like it but it's very detailed it's cool to see what you can do um and this is running real time on a series x as well what i want to think though or what i do think sorry and what do i want to say is that a series s i don't think we're going to see 60 fps games um on, in big scale i just don't think we're going to see that 60 fps because you know you got to remember this the series x is a huge amount more powerful than the series s in terms of the gpu as well i know the cpu is is, is sort of evenly matched but you have to lower things down you can't have one being really powerful and, and the other thing being not it has to work well as a system together and i don't think the series s will necessarily be capable of running a lot of these unreal engine 5 the bigger games at least at 60 i just don't think that's what we're expected to ask for. What you've got to understand is that that is a budget console for people who just want to play next gen games, uh, the people who buy like the Call of Duties and the people who buy like the FIFAs every year. The Series X is more for people who play a lot more games, want the best graphics, have the best TV, and, and, and you know, care about all that sort of stuff, like, like myself and many of you guys watching this video in the first place. But Series S, I think it's fair that it, it has, has some indie games and some smaller games, uh, even smaller AAA games running at 60, obviously, but there is going to be a majority of 30 FPS games on Series S, I personally believe. But that's it. This is a look into the future. It looks insane. I can't wait to see all the games we're going to be getting um, running on Unreal Engine 5. We've already got things next year set to come out on Unreal Engine 5, and I can't wait to see what those are. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in future videos. Bye. Bye, guys.